today's video and today we are restoring this circle Y saddle getting it all cleaned up and back into shape okay here's the tools that I'm gonna be using um, I've got some sheepskin I've got something to apply everything I've got a nice sponge and uh, I'm gonna use that for the oil cleaner I've got Murphy's oil soap for oil I have needs foot oil and for a conditioner, I have Skidmore Leather Cream. So if you take a look at this saddle, you can tell it is dirty. It needs some help. So the first thing that we're going to do is get it cleaned up. And we're going to clean it up using Murphy's Oil Soap. Okay, step one, Murphy's Oil Soap sponge. Get your sponge nice and loaded up full of water. And then you're going to put some Murphy's on it. Okay, so this is basically just the, uh, what I would call the elbow grease section. You just need to see where the dirt is really piled up and then just work it until it gets clean. Make sure you kind of tear things apart and go all the way under everything and remove all that dirt. There is all sorts of little places that just need attention. So make sure you get everything cleaned. If you've got some extra left over, then you'll just clean that off. But the really important thing about using Murphy's is that you need to go ahead and let things dry out. And as you can see, the saddle is already dry, but the oils in the Murphy's oil soap kind of give it a little bit of a condition. But we'll be ready for the next step as soon as that dries. Okay, next step is the oil. I'm using 100% pure needs foot oil which is actually made from cows. So it will help give the moisture back to the saddle. Now you're gonna use a lot of this. So that's why I put it in a little container and I just use a brush and brush it on. So here you go. Get your brush loaded. And here we go. We are just going to paint that saddle in oil and let it soak in everywhere. And we are going to repeat this process probably, oh, I'd say five or six times. So I'll get back after I've got the first layer. You see, this stuff is really, really soaking in. And yes, the oil will darken your saddle, but remember, it needs moisture. And the moisture comes from the oil. And you have to get this everywhere underneath every piece and pull it out get all the way under all the buckles that sort of thing and do that over and over it just takes time but as you can see it's coming along and looking really nice okay so this is after two oilings as you can see the oil is still being absorbed very well um, we're going to continue to keep doing the oil until it all pretty much just all soaks up real nice and pretty and I'm looking at probably about four five coats or something like that okay guys so here's the saddle after about nine to ten coats been working on it for two days needs foot oil by the way this was 32 ounces and I've used over half of it and it has darkened it quite a bit, but it is so nice and soft, but it no longer will accept any more oil. So we're good with that. Now the final step is the condition. Okay, leather cream and conditioner time. Now I like just putting it on with an old sock, but you can use a rag or a sponge or even sheepskin. Any of these works. So this is uh, Skidmore's and this. So I'm using Skidmore's. You can use any one that you like. You just have to get a good glob on. Yeah, there you go. Now we're gonna take our wonderful stuff and just apply it very liberally to the entire saddle. And we're going to uh, pull off any extra. But as you can see, it really shines things up almost immediately. I'm gonna keep this off of the seat itself. I'm just gonna come back over here into the skirts, all the way up and around, get all the way under everything. You can see this is really 
making it nice and pretty and shiny. You just have to get all the way around and then we'll be able to clean up that silver and that'll look really, really nice. But there you go, that's the first step. Okay, there you go. You've got the whole thing conditioned and it's really looking very, very nice. Very pleased with it. I may do another layer of conditioning on top of that. Well, all right, this is pretty much my finished product. Uh, there's still a few things that I would need to do. I'm still concerned about those fenders. They're unfortunately just a little bit too long for me to actually use, so I might be replacing them, but uh, look at the silver. It shined up pretty nicely. One more layer of Skidmores and there you go. That's your saddle. It's looking good. And it looks nice and comfortable. It's back to being shiny. Yes, it was very, very much darkened by all the oil and I really did put a lot in there. But as you can see, it was really, really dry. And now it's just, oh, it's nice and soft again. And even the fenders, even though they've had some cracks in them, are still nice and soft. Okay, we're getting to the final stages. We are going to put one more layer of um, our Skidmore's leather conditioner on here. It really did darken up, but it's become a whole lot softer and we're just trying to get some softness and we're going to deal with that. So I think it is actually silver plate overlay, but it needs some help. So we're gonna deal with it. So Neverdoll was what was recommended. So I'm gonna give it a go. So Neverdoll is this packing material. I highly suggest you wear gloves and you kind of pull a little bit out and make sure that you're in a well-ventilated area, usually outside, and wear gloves. Okay, so here we go. We're just gonna take this and start rubbing it really well. Let's see how, uh, oh, you can see that it came up right there. But you're really having to put a lot of work into this. And I can see why, you know, this is still kind of greenish. So I'm going to work at this and see what I can come up with. But uh, so far, it really does look a lot better. But that's obviously going to take a lot more scrubbing. Okay, so this point, I have gone through a bunch of this Never Doll. And you can see it really has cleaned things up, but it still needs to be polished. Back concho. And here on the saddle horn. I'm totally gonna cheat. I'm going to use this thing. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's see if it really does. Try to keep that on the metal there. At least on the larger spot, seeming to work pretty good. That looks pretty and shiny. Much better. There we go. And this one. Ooh. Kind of getting all the nasty down there. Let's see if I'm gonna hold it. It has a good kick to it. Oh, that's looking a whole lot better. But that works pretty good. Okay, thank you so much for joining me on today's video. And if you enjoyed the video, give us a like. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. And remember to see more saddles, check out our saddles playlist.